our first family road trip. So we're going to pack up the car and we're gonna do a little loop. Look at little buddy. He's so freaking cute. All right, Chad, do you wanna take him to the car? Yeah. And then I'll just pack the bag and we'll go? Sounds great. Okay. So every time I have packed my diaper bag and gone somewhere, I forget something every time. <gasps> that reminds me, I need my baby wrap. Okay, baby wrap. I'm gonna pack my bag now. And if you see something I forget, comment below because I'll figure it out later, but I won't know right now. Anyways, so we have started cloth diapering now. So um, this is the first time we're going out and we're going to cloth diaper as well. We do the, here, I'll show you. We do diaper covers and uh, pre-folds or flats. I'm gonna take three spare covers and then I have some flats and liners. These are um, like wipes, little baby wipes and liner and then I have our wet bag so those are all the diapers and then I have two blankets I'm bringing a thinner swaddle and a nice big warmer one um the weather's not supposed to be like super cold or anything like that but it is getting it's September so it is like getting cooler outside this is my little basket I wanted to show you this little basket here is where I keep everything I need 24 7 so I don't have to carry a handful of stuff up and down the stairs from the sleeping loft downstairs and up and down and up and down and up and down so I got uh, well I got my cell phone okay yeah spare outfit pants and long sleeve hat spare hat yeah, I don't need the landline this is everything that I need old wipe clearly not oh socks Okay, butt cream. I'll bring a sucky. He doesn't really take one, but like sometimes, rarely he does. Spare outfit, blankets, diapers. Baby carrier, don't forget baby carrier. I got wipes in the bag already. I'll get a water bottle for us. <gasps> bottle! I used my haka this morning and I was able to get some milk so that Chad can feed Floyd today as well, which is really fun. He did it yesterday and they both loved it so much. Okay, should be good. If I'm missing anything, maybe you already know. Catch you in the car. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. So Floyd is five weeks old and this is our first family trip. I tried to get Medusa to come, but she wouldn't come. So I said, fine. You're not coming then. Hi, buddy. You go for a car ride? We are in the car on our way. So I said the loop earlier. Let me explain that. So from Duncan, you can either go up through Langford, Vic no, not Victoria, Langford, Souk, Port Renfrew, and then down through Lake Couch and back around to Duncan. Actually, that is the loop. You could go either way, I suppose. So we're gonna do that loop today, which I think is like four, four and a half hours. But we're gonna stop and check out some stuff along the way, probably go outside and go for a walk. It's a little bit rainy here where we are. It probably might be a little bit rainy everywhere, or overcast at least, but it's like 17 degrees outside, it says right now. It'll probably be a little bit warmer later. So we just pulled up here in East Souk. We are gonna go into the park. Apparently there's some like petroglyphs which are almost like hieroglyphics but made by indigenous people in Canada to mark off landmarks and sacred places. So we're gonna go check that out and hopefully we can see some cool views of the ocean and enjoy the outdoors today. Cloth diaper update. I heard of this thing called compression 
leakage. So when you have a cloth diaper and you put your baby into the car seat, you just want to be careful not to put it too tight around the diaper area because you can squeeze out the liquid. So I only put one liner in his cloth diaper. And because he's wearing cloth diapers now, we're getting used to changing him. Not like more, but being aware that the crying is probably because his bum is wet because it doesn't absorb the same way uh, disposable diaper does. So as soon as we parked, first thing I did was check his bum and he was wet. So we changed his diaper and I made him happy. And now I'm just feeding him so that we can get going. which was so cool. That actually, the coast trail that we were on was so beautiful. It was such a nice hike. It was a little bit farther than I think we expected, but it was still wonderful. And Floyd slept the whole entire time. So we just got in the car, put him in his car seat and kept on going. Now we are at like, what is this? Oh, Jordan River. Jordan River, yeah. Now we are at Jordan River and we pulled over because there are people surfing here. So I'm gonna go get a couple shots of all these cool people out there surfing. It's so cool. It's so beautiful to live on this island. Chad is feeding um, Floyd right now. back on the road again. Uh, we realize now that it is almost four o'clock and we're almost halfway around the loop. I guess it took a little bit longer to do that hike than we thought. I don't even know what time we left the house. What time did we leave the house? Maybe like 11. Yeah, 11-ish. Anyways, I think we're almost yeah halfway, so about two hours left. And Floyd is changed and fed, so now he's happy baby sleeping again. Okay, he's not sleeping, but, but he's happy. He likes to look around. He's such a curious little guy. Now we're just driving through the Fairy Creek old growth forest area, and it is so green here. It's beautiful. I'll try to capture it, but I don't think we're going to stop because Floyd is just kind of falling asleep, but we're driving right along Fairy Creek right now. The forest, there's just so much moss everywhere. The trees are just covered and they're so dark and thick. It's beautiful. Camp. We're actually driving through the Fairy Creek camp now where everyone's stopping to protest. There are so many people here. This is so good. Good for them. Oh, they're doing so good. They have been protesting. People are living here. If you don't know what's going on at Fairy Creek, um, the government is pretty much deciding that the old growth forests don't matter anymore and they're cutting down like ancient trees and they're breaking treaties with indigenous peoples to do this. It's insane. You should definitely go look it up, but like, good job everybody. I wish that we could, like I've thought lots about coming here and protesting with them and stuff, but I was pregnant and now I have a tiny baby, so it's very difficult for me. But if you are in the area or you wanna be in the area, come and protest with them. It is absolutely insane what is going on and like the lengths that these people are going to to try to save these trees. If you haven't watched the Lorax, go and watch the Lorax now.
Where are we now? We're in Lake Ca Lake Cowichan, so we're like 45 minutes from home ish, an hour. If you have a baby, how do you change them in the car? Like, there's no room. Right, well, this. The seat is big enough, but it kind of like is at a slope, so he's always kind of sliding. Like, how do you change a baby in the car? Because he's little. What do you do when they get bigger? Why, how do you do that? Drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me. Tell me what's up. But look at how cute this guy is. Are you having fun, Floyd? Are you having fun? Okay, feeding time. We are in Duncan and we are picking up pizza for dinner. It is 6.45. So we did the loop. We went all the way around. We were gonna do like another hike or something, but that one hike was long enough and that's good, that's good. We took the whole day, went on a little journey, a little family first adventure. And we're ending the night off at Pizza Hut. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> I'm excited for pizza. <laughs> Typical. Typical. We wanted Pad Thai, but Pad Thai was closed. So pizza sad. it is. Yeah, sad day. That's okay. We did really good. That was a beautiful drive. Oh my gosh. Like the old growth forest area was so beautiful. I wish we could have got out and walked around, but... Now we know where we want to go camping, that's for sure. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, anyways guys, thanks for tuning in and watching our latest family journey. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll have a great rest of our day, and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Oh, and I didn't forget anything in my diaper bag this time. That is a first. I brought so much stuff I didn't even need. Brought everything. Didn't need it, didn't even need it, didn't even need it.